for his third adventure. Dungeon Basics. The newcomer evil should learn... The still learning the ropes evil had decided to try the excellent tutorials. Good choice. In this childishly simple introductory mission, it would learn the basics of dungeon management. Things like digging, building rooms, and hiring and firing creatures. Everything a novice evil needs to know. First of all, it admired the center of its power, the dungeon heart. This, if possible, should never be broken, as that would lead to an inglorious and permanent end to the definitely wanting to avoid this at all costs evil. Naturally, the most important resource for any evil genius was gold. One can make the best things out of the glittering metal, and nary a creature was going to let the absolute evil hire it and push it around without a coin or two. Sad, I know, but that's the way the cold, hard, capitalist world of evil works. Although a little gold could also be stored in the dungeon heart, the little snots, the strange name giving evil's workers, had to travel long distances to do so. It made much more sense to build a treasury nearby. The fast learning evil immediately began doing so. Sometimes the bored evil's little snots didn't work quickly enough. That was the time to give them a hearty slap with the hand of terror. Naturally, this had to be done immediately. Calculating evil threw a cagey glance at its population limits. These were divided into little snots and creatures. As opposed to creatures, little snots did not have to be hired separately, but were always regenerated up to the maximum limit. And so it was that the massacring evil didn't have to worry if one of these miserable creatures died. It simply had to wait for the next one. At the same time, the little snots were the dungeon workers who dug the galleries, mined the gold, and... 
care of any number of other things. That's why it was never a bad idea to increase their maximum limit. The thirsty for more little snots evil hurriedly began work. The corresponding, unfortunately, creatures were a little more demanding than the miserable little snots. A hideout would have to be researched before creatures such as goblins and orcs could be hired. As loyal as the little snots were, they were unable to fight and took to their heels in panicked flight at the first sight of an enemy. Sighing, the unscrupulous evil set about providing a hideout.
Careless Evil had built something completely senseless where the required room was supposed to be. The narrator was kind enough to initiate the necessary demolition. The army craving evil had hired a creature which would from now on do its dirty work. However, each creature consumed a population point. Fortunately, these could be increased just like the number of workers. Should it become necessary to recover a population point, the maliciously grinning evil could always use the e. The careless evil had built something completely senseless where the required room was supposed to be. 
the narrator was kind enough to initiate the necessary demolition. These creatures were pretty spoiled. Not only did horde creatures demand their own bunks, they also wanted something to eat. Otherwise, they would soon refuse to do any work whatsoever and go on strike. The deeply sighing evil had no other choice than to build his creatures a gobbler farm to satisfy their hunger. Excellent work. The gobbler farm was now ready. Later, the creatures would also demand other things, but for now, they were satisfied. The fast learning evil had mastered the first tutorial with flying colors. Excellent work.